Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students. How are you? I think you all are fine with your family members, and I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. You know, we are taking our classes from online. Yes. And uh, this is the process to reach you and uh, guide you from our home and hope all you are well and be benefited with this with our classes and uh, take proper steps and proper preparation for your coming future and coming exams so uh, as a student of class 10 and you know you are going to attend SSC exam <coughs> so that's why um, uh, I have told you before that uh, I am giving you such important topic and which you you have to perform and uh, prepare yourself with this particular topics which is stated in your English first paper book and uh, this type of question are which very, are very related <coughs> to the topic and <coughs> excuse me and uh, <coughs> you uh, uh, you will be notified and you will be um, find yourself common in this particular uh, chapter that is I have mentioned several times in the class times and through these online classes so my dear boys uh, you are requested to just follow my class and pick the point and uh, and and uh, reserve these questions from your uh, classes and maintain a, a common assignment paper that is which is uh, you uh, you have to uh, represent your preparation that representative preparation and and uh, so you can easily submit to your <coughs> to me uh, if you all the if the all situation become um, normal okay so uh, you just prepare manage and uh, recollect all sorts of information providing this um, online class okay uh, so i am uh, i want to give you some particular uh, techniques and topics and relevant questions that helps you in your coming exam and you feel very free when it's you when you see the question which is very much related and relevant to my classes and you feel very pressure free okay i want to mention that you, you will become pressure free so you just follow don't grab don't um, spend lots of the misuse times so you can easily reach your destination uh, so my dear boys uh, this is i am going to uh, take today's class on particular lesson which is stated in your eft book from unit 11 yes i want to mention and uh, welcome to my class and i hope you will enjoy my class and uh, yeah uh, as for uh, as as the previous day i am giving my classes and my lecture from my home so uh, this is uh, a unique chapter it is a very important chapter and it is a very related to the recent situations 
and related to the coming situation though so a uh, unit 11 lesson 3 that is renewable energy sources 3 you just find this lesson in page 147 so please please bring your EFT book pencil paper and uh, definitely highlight highlighter that you have to underline the particular lines so unit 11 lesson 3 a renewable energy we are going to take our today's class on a renewable energy resources 3 page 147 unit 11 lesson 3 yes so uh, before like other classes i want to give attention on particular new vocabularies yes i am going i want to go through the particular words the first one is rely yes it's a verb that means depend antonym is it distrust not trusted anyone it depends antonym is distrust heavily yes i i several time i mentioned ly ends with adverb this words ends with ly is a adverb commonly commonly it's an adverb okay heavily adverb synonym is immensely antonym is moderately next one is petroleum it bring from noun fossil fuel means fossil fuel natural it's an adjective and synonym is organic another synonym is raw antonym is artificial fossil it belongs from noun fuel it's a noun synonym is energy source noun it means origin or root renewable adjective reusable antonym is non-renewable energy it belongs to noun that means power reliance noun it terms dependence antonym is independence all are ends with ce that is reliance dependence independence okay it's a noun pause it's a verb pauses something like that and uh, create synonym is create next one is real adjective actual fake antonym is fake another one is finite it's an adjective that is limited antonym is infinite resources reserve eventually it's a finally expensive costly antonym is cheap a decade it's a noun a pers a period of 10 years damaging adjective it's look like a verb but it acts as an adjective here so that's why it's an adjective and synonym is harmful antonym is harmless pollute it's a verb pollute pollutes polluted like that yes and synonym is contaminate antonym is clean antonym is clean impact it's a noun and synonym is effect global yes related to the earth adjective worldwide worldwide internationally and antonym is local yes contrast it's a noun synonym is difference antonym is similarly constantly it's an adverb continuously inconsistently next page replenished yes we have lots of new vocabularies and my dear boys just remember you have to 
learn and uh, good at the particular vocabularies. If you want to achieve a good marks in writing part that is question number 2, you have to learn and, um, and uh, concern about the meaning of the words. So, you have to you can then you can use it in proper way uh, using simple complex compound or, other, or or something like other that or specific active if you think that uh, if you found the particular sentence inactive just transform it into passive and in this way you can represent yourself that you can add from your own words you can add words from your own vocabulary power so you have to good at okay you have couple of strong ability uh, to change the sentences using synonyms 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 and using antonyms in negative sentence okay my dear boss this is a very important uh, thing that uh, and ne next one is called replenished uh, refilled de de depletive commercial it's an adjective that means profitable uh, that's charitable turbine noun it's a uh, it's a unique uh, item of Mm, uh, 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 any energy mm, resources mm. and pressure it is a pressure from water or air or steam and it produces in energy and turns into electricity okay turbine evaporate it is a verb evaporate evaporated evaporates vaporize or moisture antonym is moisture abundant it is an adjective Synonym is plentiful, antonym is insufficient, insufficient. Then separately, it is an adverb individually and antonym is together, antonym is together. Combine, verb to join. But to separate antonym is separate interior it's a noun that means inner exterior it means exterior so next one is tremendous it's an adjective that means immense teeny antonym inside it's a preposition yes lots of noun lots of adverb lots of adjective but we are talking about the preposition and synonym is within and term is outside depth it's a noun deepness is a synonym height is an antonym surface noun synonym is outside and antonym is inside now this is the topics we are talking about that is a renewable energy sources 3 from your EFT English for today book page 147 unit 11 lesson 3 now we are going to go through this toy text it's very much important and very much uh, effective and you have to give attention you have to pay attention hmm. so I am going to um, give you the short description so you can see the two particular picture one picture indicates energy lights turbine hmm. and another it's an you can see it's a globe with a small plant of trees now that is countries of the world rely heavily on petroleum coal and natural gas for their energy sources lots of countries maximum countries are re very much dependent on this particular natural resources gas coal and petroleum there are two major types of energy resources one is renewable and is non-renewable 
hydrocarbon or fossil fuels are non renewable sources of energy reliance on them that is rely on them okay reliance on them poses real big 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 huge problems first fossil fuels such as oil coal gas etc are finite that is that is finite means you know going to be end okay and energy resources and the world eventually will run out of them that is it it will end in future definitely secondly they will become too expensive in the coming decades and too damaging for the environment that means it is very much harmful for the global or environment atmosphere thirdly fossil fuels have direct polluting impacts on earths directly pollutes that cause environment causing global warming in contrast renewable energy sources such as wind and solar energy constantly and naturally replenished and never run out yes the wind and the solar the sunshine has never been an end so that's how you can easily use these two sources that is wind and solar energy that is uh, sun ray or sunlight if you use it properly it would be the best solution okay so next uh, most renewable energy comes either directly or indirectly from the sun sunlight or solar energy can be used for heating and lighting lighting sorry lighting homes for generating electricity and for other commercial and industrial uses then the sun heat drives the wind and this wind energy can be captured with wind turbines to produce electricity yes you can see the uh, words turbines yes underline this particular word to produce is some pressure i can uh, i have told you earlier then the wind and the sun's heat cause water to evaporate when this water vapor turns into rain or snow and flows downhill into rivers or streams its energy can be captured as hydroelectric energy underline this line please underline this particular line along with the rain and snow sunlight causes plants to grow plants produce biomass which again can be turned into fuel such as firewood identified as bio energy next page scientists have identified hydrogen as another form of renewable energy source it is the most abundant element in nature but it does not exist separately as a gas it is always combined with other elements such as with oxygen to make water hydrogen separated from another element can be burned as a fuel to produce electricity our earth's interior contains molten lava which gives of extreme heat this heat inside the earth produces steam and hot water which can be tapped as geothermal energy to produce electricity for heating homes ocean energy ocean energy comes from several sources ocean force of tide and wave can be used to produce energy the surface of the ocean gets more heat from the sun than the ocean depths the temperature difference can be used as energy sources too so this is the text of unit 
11 lesson 3 and uh, I am going to give you a short summary you just pick the particular points you you can write the sentence what I am going to give you that is the passage is written about the renewable energy sources the passage is written about what renewable energy sources second thing renewable energy sources are the energy sources which are constantly and naturally replenished and never run out and never run out sun wind flowing water biomass geothermal energy are renewable energy sources you know what point out sun wind flowing water biomass geothermal energy are renewable energy sources most renewable energy sources come directly and indirectly from the sun most what i'm saying most renewable energy sources come directly and indirectly from the sun and then renewable energy sources keep the world green and fresh yes you can notice the second picture of this text they are just mention you the renewable energy sources keep the world green and fresh you just now point out the grammatical part that is adjective and adverb here some words related to the adjective i have already mentioned and adverb also so this is the text and uh, this text is very much important in your for the ssc exam and uh, in your in this text you have couple of question first of all you have particular question that is one from the from your text ah, okay you can see here what do you mean by renewable energy sources what are the problems with non-renewable energy and what are the major difference between renewable and non-renewable non -renewable, non -renewable energy sources okay so i am going to give you the two particular question and their answers that is what do you mean by renewable energy sources and answer is you can see renewable energy sources are the energy sources renewable energy sources are the energy sources which are constantly and naturally replenished 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 and never run out and second one what are the problems with non-renewable energy sources the problems with answer is the problems with non-renewable energy sources are they are first one they are finite energy sources that is it has an end it will end sometime and the world eventually will run out of them moreover they are costly and then it has direct polluting impacts or that means it directly pollutes the environment on earth's environment causing global warming so this is the root cause of global warming it pollutes our environment okay and question number three from your text what are the major difference between energy renewable and non-renewable energy sources you have to differentiate the particular renewable and non-renewable you can use a table from the left side renewable and the right side non-renewable energy and make difference and point out some one or uh, two or more than points you have to add from renewable to non-renewable to differentiate there 
characteristics okay my dear boys so you have to learn and uh, now try to answer in your hw paper and uh, preserve it and submit you have to submit answer the following questions and you will be done and learn it you, you have to first of all question number a what are the problems we are talking about some uh, resource problems that creates energy that we are depending and uh, the problems what are the problems with non renewable energy and number b what are the major difference between renewable and non renewable energy so with that i have mentioned earlier and c how can hydrogen be used to produce electricity yes it is a very unique question and uh, you have to uh, you have to be prepared yourself mm, to for this uh, to answer this relevant question and you will find this answer from your text and number d what is geothermal energy i have already mentioned during my class what is geothermal energy and number e how can ocean energy be a substitution to non renewable energy ocean energy that is wave wind that that the flowing water yes yes i have mentioned yes my good good very good my dear boys uh, you can notice in my during my lecture so you have to answer this particular sentences uh, questions and you will find and you will easily answer and you just write in brief not in elaborated okay so in brief that is short description don't misuse any any sorts of words and don't um, exaggerate any uh, don't repeat one line okay so one one topics one information don't repeat you just go through easily one by one okay i hope you will um, enjoy my class uh, i hope you, uh, you will be benefited when you are going to answer and write the answer uh, in your study time so my dear boys hope you have enjoyed a lot and uh, learned uh, many things and uh, i have uh, designed my class today uh, with particular vocabularies and it will help you to uh, reorder or rearrange or uh, re um, uh, uh, recompose your answers okay so please uh, uh, be concentrate attentive and uh, don't um misuse your time please i repeat uh, uh, your coming situation is very much critical but you just use your present time properly and you will be fit for any sorts of destruction to protect okay so my dear boys um, be safe be sound with your family members hope you have enjoyed my class thank you my dear students for watching till end allah hafiz with you thank you very much